Today we will talk about functions. Functions are a reusable unit of code uh, which we can reuse again and again in our code by just calling the function by its name. So if in your code uh, you think you your code is getting repeated again and again, so that would be a very good uh, use case to move that code into a separate function and then instead of writing all the code again and again we can just reuse the code by calling the function by its name so this is a very basic function here so uh, let's see how we can uh, define a function so uh, python provides us with a keyword def short for definition so whenever we want to write a function to declare a function we will start with this keyword then we will write the name of the function this can be anything uh, meaningful we want to name our function so this is a function in uh, in which we will sum the two numbers and then return the result so i have named this function sum we can name it anything then uh, there will be these brackets so of in inside those brackets function can receive parameters or it can receive zero parameters or it can receive any number of parameters so in our case uh, as we are adding two numbers so we will need to receive two numbers as parameter so our function will have two parameters so i will call them value one we can name it anything and value two so these two values will be passed to this function whenever this function will be called so the, these there are two parameters where we can have any number of parameters and then uh, we will have a colon here so this is basic signature of the function which includes the def keyword function name and parameters after that we will write the definition of the function so uh, anything inside the function should be indented by one tab so if I want to write something inside the function I will indent it by one tab so all this code which is indented after the def keyword is the definition of the function so whenever we will call the function with with its name which is sum here all the code inside this function will run so here it is a very basic function so what it does is it will add two values which has which have been passed to the function by the caller like whoever will call this function and it it is saving the result uh, in this variable and then a function returns something right so this function is returning the result of the sum function can return something or it can return none based on our use case but in this case we wanted the sum of the two numbers so we are returning that sum here now we will see how we can use a function to call the function uh, we will just write the name of the function which is sum and then we will use these brackets so if function receives some parameter we will pass it here if it does not receive anything we can just call the function with empty brackets but in but in our case we need to pass two arguments so i will pass let's say two and three so the parameter add parameter or it is also called argument so the parameter add at the, which is at the first will be assigned to this first argument in our function and the uh, argument which is passed second will be assigned to this second argument in our function so in, in, in this case like in this call the value 1 will have the value 2 and value 2 will have the value 3 so it will sum it and will return the result so let's see uh, run this function uh, run this script and see what it does it printed nothing right so we need to understand why it printed nothing so basically this function uh, was called and this code ran but what happened was we didn't print anything right so let's say I save the result in some variable so let's call it uh, result 2 okay so now whatever will be returned by this sum function will be stored in this variable so in our case it is returning the sum so result 2 will contain the sum of these two numbers so now if i print result result 2 it should print 5 see okay so now we can like call the function any times uh, with any number of uh, like with uh, whatever value we want so let's say uh, later in our code we need to have we need to calculate the sum of let's say 19 and 23 right so we can call the function again by passing the different values so the same code will run 
with different values. So let's say I assign it again to result 2 and then I print result 2. So first it printed 5 and then 42 which is 19 plus 23 is equal to 42. So this was the very simple usage of the functions. We defined and declared a function here and then we called our function here. So uh, let's see another example of a uh, function. So let's see, let's say we need a function uh, which, uh, which you know, uh, which uh, takes input from a user and then prints it, right? So we can call this function foo for now. We, we you can name it anything you want, and it takes no parameters because we just want to take the input from the user. So that will user will give the input. So we don't need any parameter. So we will write the uh, the code we learned earlier so this is how we take the input we can say name is equal to input and we can say enter your name so after this line user the terminal will wait for the input and when the user will give the input it will be stored in name then i will print name right so this is uh, the definition of our function and our function just takes the input from the user and prints it so in this case, we can see that there is no return statement. So when there is no return statement, it means the function is returning none, which is a data type in Python as we discussed earlier, which represents nothing. So let's call this function and see what it does. We will call it by its name, foo, and that's it. Okay, so it is waiting here. So what happened was this script uh, was executed this line interpreted saw interpreter saw this line and then uh, it called the function foo which is here so uh, the code inside this function will run now so here we have input statement so our interpreter is waiting for the input from the user so i will enter usman and it printed usman so when i entered usman the value was stored in name then this line uh, executed and it printed the name and then the function returned by returning it, I mean that the function will exit so whenever the function will face the return statement it will exit right away or if the last line of the function is uh, is uh, faced by the interpreter it will also exit so there was no more lines after this print statement so this function just exited and uh, any code written here will be executed which uh, which was nothing so nothing executed here so this is uh, another example of a simple function where we are not receiving any parameters and we are not returning anything. Let's say we have another example uh, where we need to take input from the user and we don't want to print it, we just return it from the function and we will see what we want to do with that later. So after taking the input, we what we will do is we will return name. So in this case, uh, we are not receiving any parameters we are taking input from user inside the function and then we are returning that value so now if I call foo1 it will return some value right right like in this case we knew that our function will return something so we stored the result in our variable so here uh, we will uh, save our result in another variable we can call it username equal to foo one so whatever will be returned by this function will be stored here and then we can print username so let's enter abasi and it printed abasi so make sure to note that this the name printed here is not is is not printed inside the function but it was printed uh, by our code which is not inside the function we can do anything with the value returned by the function so let's say i I want to append some some value with this name which was returned by the function so I can say uh, user user full name is equal to username plus Abasi right and now I print user full name so whatever will be returned by this function will be stored here and we will append Abasi to it and then we will print it so let's say I enter Usman and it is it has printed to smart Abasi here so this is how we use functions in python uh, we will have a separate exercise to get more hands-on experience on, uh, in uh, you know with functions so we can learn functions in more depth 
so another important thing we should know about functions uh, is uh, we have seen that function can return a single value like we have seen here or function can return nothing like we have seen here uh, so another thing uh, which function can does it can return multiple values like a function which can receive multiple values it can also return multiple values so in let's say in this case we knew that our function is returning one value so when we call this function here we stored it in one variable because it was returning only one value so that one value will be stored here so let's see a function which can return multiple values so let's say we have a function and uh, which uh, we can call uh, let's say we can call sum and subtract right so this function will uh, add two numbers and it will also subtract two numbers and it will return the result of both numbers so let's say we receive two values here value one and value two and we save the result of sum uh, in this variable value one uh, plus value 2 and similarly for subtraction we are having another variable which will store the result of the subtraction of these variables right so value 1 plus value 2 will be stored in sum value 1 minus value 2 will be stored in sum so uh, like in this call uh, we have seen that we are we can only return one value so now if we want to return multiple values uh, the pattern will be similar uh, similar we will write the return statement and then we will write the name of the variable or constant whatever we want to return so we will uh, say sum and then it will be comma separated so however values we want to return we will just separate them by a comma so in this case we have two values so we will return we will write comma and then we'll write the an, a, another value if we want to return anything uh, any more values we will write uh, a comma and then those values and so on and so on so we can return as much values as we need so in this case we are returning two values now uh, to use this function uh, let's say we uh, we call it here uh, in similar fashion like we did before by giving the name of the function and then passing the arguments to the function and we know that this will return value so we need to store it somewhere so we can call it result one but we know that it is returning two values so what we will do is we will also write two variables here uh, which will be separated by comma so we will say result 1 and result 2 equal to this so now we know that this sum underscore sub function is returning two values so the first value which will be returned from here uh, which is the value of this variable will be stored here and the value of second variable uh, like the second value which is returned from the function which will be assigned to the second variable here so now if I print result 1 and result 2 Oh, let's see what it does print result 1 print result 2 so 5 plus 1 should be 6 so result 1 should be 6 and 5 minus 1 should be 4 so result 2 should be 4 so we expect it to print 6 and 4 see so it has uh, printed both values because our function returned multiple values so uh, another uh, another interesting thing uh, we can see here is uh, recently we learned about tuples uh, and we saw that tuple is declared in uh, in a fashion like this that we will have a name of the tuple and then we can you know uh, initialize the tuple with these brackets and then inside those brackets we will have multiple values for the tuples and to access these values uh, we can uh, access the index of uh, any value we want to access so a0 means that we want the value at zero index in this tuple which is one right so just uh, just run it and see what it prints it, it is printing one so another interesting thing uh, when we are returning multiple values from a function is that uh, there are two ways to handle the multiple returned values from a function one is this uh, we know that this will return two values so we have two variables here so the first will be stored in the first one the second term value will be stored in the second value let's say we don't want to have multiple variables here so we can do another smart thing here 
so let's say I call this variable result and I call the function sum underscore sub so what should happen here so we can see that it is returning multiple values so maybe it should give an error or what so let's run this code and see what it does I will print result uh, notice here that it has uh, when I printed result which was the return value of uh, this function and the return value was two values so what this function actually returned was a tuple see here in these brackets separated by comma so basically when we are returning multiple values from a function it is actually returning a tuple so if we write one variable here it will store the store the return tuple in this variable or if we write multiple uh, variables here like we did in this case so what it will do is it will unpack the tuple like it will pop the elements of the tuple and will assign those uh, elements uh, in this uh, to these variables in order so this is another way to receive multiple uh, return values from a function so now if I want to print the sum I know the first index is the sum of those values and the second index is the subtraction uh, is the difference of those two values so if I print result 0 and then I print result 1 it uh, the first it will print the sum and then it will print the difference see 6 and 4 so this was basically a tip which you can use uh, if you don't want to use multiple variables so this is it for uh, functions see you in next video